Hey guys, Kurt here from the Traveling Larsons. Um, just want to go over a boondocking do's and don'ts. So, I like to call this biz docking because currently we're staying at Cabela's in Billings, Montana. And there's lots of businesses that are kind enough to let us RVers stay there overnight. The great thing about that for us is it's free. I'll get to that in a minute. So, got some do's and don'ts right here on my iPad. Nice travel in the Larson's sticker there on the iPad. So I'm gonna go over those and uh, let's discuss them. Do's and don'ts of staying at Cabela's, Walmart, Cracker Barrel, any other business that lets you stay there for free. Or as I'm terming it, I'm coining it, biz docking. Do call ahead and ask if you can stay. If it is okay, ask where you should park. Do not pull in before dinner. Kind of the rule of thumb is 6 to 7 p.m. Most places. Ask when you call. Be polite. Treat staying at a business, biz docking, as if it was your own. If you're walking around and you see a cart, especially if it may hit your RV or someone else's RV, maybe put it back in the cart corral. If you see some trash, maybe in the parking lot around your RV, maybe slip on those gloves that you use when you're dumping your tanks and help pick up that trash. While we're on the subject to trash, don't dump your trash in their garbage. That's not polite. Do thank the manager if you're able to. This will not only help you, but it will help other RVers in the future. By showing your appreciation to the manager, it will make them feel good about letting you stay there. Do write a review. Now I suggest if it's positive only. Do write a review on the business's Google page or an RV app. That's just another good way of showing your appreciation. The reason I say if it's positive is because too many negative reviews and other RVers won't be able to stay there. Other businesses will catch on and we're going to have less and less and less places to stay for free. Cabela's, Walmart, Cracker Barrel, etc. Mention on that review that you biz docked. It's a business and you're boondocking. Oh, mosquitoes. It's a business and you're boondocking. Mention that. Mention that you patronize the business. Please do patronize the business while you're staying there. So, we're staying at Cabela's in Billings, Montana. We went inside mainly because we like the lemon drops that they carry. We ended up buying three camping chairs, uh, uh, a five set of mugs, and the two lemon drop bags that we went in there to get. So instead of spending the three or four dollars that we were probably going to, we spent uh, 50 some dollars. Now granted, this is where I say it's free in a way. Yes, we needed new camping chairs. Yes, we'd been looking at buying this stackable mug set for the trailer for some time. And we went in there to buy the lemon drops anyways so we were gonna spend that money or we did spend that money anyways so in essence it's free if we were gonna spend that money anyways we're not paying someplace to stay now it's time for the don'ts or the do not wow biz docking do not disconnect from your tow vehicle or disconnect your toad don't leave your RV in the lot and take off in another vehicle. Driver to remain with vehicle at all times. The driver should remain with your tow vehicle, your RV, etc. Unless you're inside the business, in this case Cabela's, patronizing the business, or in Cracker Barrel, eating dinner or breakfast. Don't have any parties. Parties are not allowed while biz docking. It's not 
your backyard and it's not down by the lake. Please do not have parties while biz docking. Don't overstay your welcome. As I said a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago, in around six or seven, or after dinner time, six to seven, out by eight or nine. The rule of thumb is 12 hours. Now granted, this is more about 14 hours, but our rule of thumb is in after dinner, out at breakfast. Now this works perfect. You pull in at Cracker Barrel for dinner, you get up, you get ready, you eat at Cracker Barrel for breakfast, and you leave. So, 12 or 14 hours, somewhere right about there. After that, you're really overstaying your welcome. Don't run your engine all night. Don't run your generator all night. Now here at Cabela's, there is someone that is staying, that is running their uh, generator in their Momentum fifth wheel. I don't know if they're gonna run it all night, but it's really not that loud. So if it's not that loud, you might be able to get away with it. Use your discretion on that one. Don't set up camp. It's just not a good idea. Don't bring out your barbecue. Don't bring out your lawn chairs, and don't put out your awning. Like these guys right here. So, those are the do's and don'ts of biz docking. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Please comment. And let us know where you like to biz dock. I gotta talk to this guy right here about setting up his lawn chair while at Cabela's shooting this video. Take care, guys. Gotta put this away.